Scientists have found that sea levels have risen more in the last hundred years than the previous 3,000. So climate change was either caused by humans or the dinosaurs. I mean, why do you think they call them fossil fuels? The seas rose about five and a half inches from 1900 to 2000 at a rate of 1.4 millimeters per year. But just in the last 16 years, that rate has risen to about 3.4 millimeters a year, meaning the sea level rise is actually accelerating. I think this is the main reason people don't care about climate change. It's hard to sell anything as dramatic when you have to talk about it in millimeters. The major contributor to rising seas has been melting mountain glaciers and the natural expansion of warm ocean waters. If they continue to melt, scientists predict we could see a rise of over four feet by the year 2100, which would be a solid SAT score, but here it means a lot of us would be dead. Even more troubling is the fact that the scientists didn't include in that prediction the dwindling ice sheets in both Greenland and Antarctica. Between 1979 and 2006, the summer melt on the Greenland ice sheet increased by 30%, and the Antarctic ice sheet has been predicted to double its surface melting by the year 2050. If we lose these ice sheets, sea levels will actually rise by over 20 feet, and that would be absolutely devastating for populations all across the planet. So scientists, stop sleeping on Greenland. Over 150 million people on Earth live near the ocean, and many are already in serious danger from the rising tides. The Maldives, the flattest country on the planet, is predicted to lose over three quarters of its land area by the year 2100. And if the seas do rise by 10 feet, predicted to happen within 200 years, America will be unrecognizable. Unless you're a big Waterworld fan, then you sort of get it. New Orleans would find 99% of its population underwater, 30% of all homes in Florida, counting for about 5.6 million people, will be submerged. And sure, only 9% of NYC will have to find a new place to live, but that percentage represents about 700,000 people. Sorry, Brooklyn. Even if we stopped emitting greenhouse gases altogether right now, we'd still be screwed. Released carbon dioxide from burned fossil fuels takes thousands of years to actually leave the atmosphere. So if everyone switched to green technology, the Earth's temperature would still rise another one degree Fahrenheit. These sea level increases are only going to get worse. So we need to start planning for them now before disaster strikes. My theory, this was the dinosaur's plan all along. Thanks for watching The Daily Desk. Please click to subscribe, comment below, like our page, and share this link with anyone who you think likes links. Bye.